What is going on guys, Burning Fire Fury here, bringing you a Pokemon Black and White walkthrough. And as you can tell by the title, I am playing Pokemon White. So without further ado, let us begin. So here we go, the basic Pokemon intro to start pretty much every single Pokemon game ever created. But this time we have a female professor, first ever professor that is actually a female. So, that's a cool touch. And she sends out the first 5th generation Pokemon you'll see. I don't actually know the name of it, believe it or not, I'm still learning the name, so bear with me with that. And I probably won't even pronounce them right, so also bear with me with that, because I suck with these new names. But anyway, uh, yeah, sorry for the quality, as you can see I am recording off a of DS, so hopefully the quality is bearable. Hopefully. But anyway, um, now the main part, decide who you are, so we have a boy and a female. Or girl, I should say. And I do like the the characters in this game. They like really gave it a lot of detail. Especially the boy. Probably my, my favorite uh, boy character they've ever done. So, yeah, he does look pretty sweet. So now we go to uh, name the character. Now you can't see it because it is on the bottom screen. But I should mention that you should do lowercase. Just because uh, in this game, everyone does have lowercase. So if you have all caps, it will look pretty weird. And my name is going to be Zero. Yes, my name is Zero. Now, she's going to introduce us to uh, my two best friends. I mean, shouldn't I already know them if they're my best friends? But uh, anyway, we have Charon and Bianca. Uh, Charon being the nerd and like the, the, I guess the, the pro who thinks he's all good. And Bianca being like the, I don't know, the hyper one, being late and all that stuff. So, with all that done, I believe we can start the game, but... She just doesn't shut up. Yeah, this game has a lot of talking. So much talking. And it is a winter. And we got this awesome intro here. Game Freak Presents. And we have the Professor. Now, I don't get this. I mean, she just walks in my house. I mean, the door's not locked. I mean, what the hell? And she just walks in, walks out. I mean, she could have stole stuff. But uh, anyway, so here we are in the room with Sharon, and we're waiting for Bianca. But we have a present on the table there, as you can see. And yeah, that does can um, obtain three Pokeballs, so we will get to choose our starter. And check out my room. I got a flat screen TV. I got an awesome bed. I got a pretty fancy room. But anyway, here comes Bianca, always being late, probably fixing her hair or something. But anyway, yeah, a lot of talking in this game, especially at the start. Pretty ridiculous. But anyway, here's the part we've all been waiting for. We get to choose our starter. And I open the gift box. And we have a letter here from Professor Juniper, but I don't really care. And we have a Tepig, the fire type. Its last form has the most HP and attack out of the three. Here's Snivy. Its last form specializes in speed and defense. And we have Oshawott. His last form is pretty much all-rounded. Probably the best out of the three, just stat-wise. Um, I'm going to go with... Snivy. Definitely my favorite out of the three. I thought my favorite would be Oshawott. But, um, I used Snivy the first time I played this game, and Snivy was awesome, so yeah. Now, Bianca will choose the weakest to your Pokemon, and Sharon will choose the strongest. And yes, you do have two rivals in this game, so that's, that's a pretty cool feature. And yeah, we just got our Pokemon, and we're about to have a battle. I mean, especially in my room, like, I got a flat screen right there, I don't want to mess it up. But then I guess it is a Pokemon battle, and no damage really ever happens, so we should be fine. I don't know, I don't really like this new battle music. I don't know, it was when I first heard it and I was like, eh. But then again, when I first played this game, I didn't even play with the sound on. I'm one of those people who prefers to have the sound off and listen to my own music. But, uh, anyway. So this will be a tackle fest, all three Pokemon have tackle, so all you're going to be doing is tackle, so it's just going to be a complete tackle fest. 
So, very enjoyable stuff to watch. And I won't let you get away with that. Oh, I'm going to get away with it. I want to attack you again. Glabam! And you get a critical hit right there. And he's going to use tail wag. My god. He's going to lower my defense right there. But you're going to match for my awesome tackle. Glabam! Let me take it out. So you should easily take that one out. I mean, it's pretty much 50-50. But uh, anyway. Don't feel bad if you lose. But then again, I have never lost this, so... Yeah, anyway. And what the crap? My room is destroyed. And look at my TV. I mean, that's worth, like, lots of money. And there's, like, footprints on the wall. Like, what the hell? And the pop lamp's tipped over. Like, what the hell? Why can't we do this in someone else's room? Messing up my room and stuff. Like, what the hell? What the hell's wrong with the table? It's, like, flipped. Uh, well, ignoring that terrible stuff that just happened to my room. Sean will hit up a Pokemon. That's nice of him. And now she's like, you want to battle too, Ben? I don't want to do another battle. I just had one battle. My room's a mess. I'm fine. Why don't you two battle? Leave me out of this. But, uh, guess we have to battle him. So let's take on Sharon. And I'm pretty sure, um, two rivals are like the only people whose sprites actually move in the battle. So I don't think any of the gym leaders do. That'll probably feature they add in Pokemon Grey. Anyway, so Sharon will have the strongest of the types. But since it is a tackle fest, you should be fine. Everything does start here. It's fear that your first battle is going to be a loss. And we get a critical hit, so this battle is as good as done. Unless you get like an ultimate critical hit, but of course you don't. So this battle is over. Use your final tackle. And there we go. So we take them both out very easily. And we get up to level 6. Oh yeah, level 6. Get a bit of stat upgrading. Yes, that was a Pokemon battle. You're a jerk. My room doesn't get any messier, thank god. I'm pretty sure my TV's broken. My Wii doesn't seem to be uh, hurt. I should probably go check on it. Are you okay? Not even a scratch. Alright, but that was the Wii. My TV could be stuffed, but anyway, let's go downstairs. As soon as you go down here, the mother's going to be talking to Churn and Bianca. And yeah, just like a good mother, she will clean up your room. And you better also replace my TV. So yeah, they'll talk about the Pokemon Lab, and we have to go there next, obviously. Get our Pokedex. But I think Bianca has to go back to her house, if I remember correctly. Oh uh, yeah, I played this game last year. I haven't really played it a lot. I finished it once, and the second time I was playing through it, I um, stopped halfway through. So yeah. And I think, believe your mother gives you some sort of watch. Well, she heals your Pokemon. And I believe she gives you something. Yeah, there we go. The cross transceiver. Or the X transceiver. Whatever you want to call it. It says X, but I believe it's meant to say cross. Anyway, we can leave now. And hopefully me tapping the A button isn't too loud. I don't know how it's going to um, work out through the camera. I'm also recording this on my iPhone, so... Yeah, it's a pretty good camera, actually. I believe this is Bianca's house. There we go. No, a thousand times no. Dad seems pissed. Yeah, I do like the speech bubbles I added in. It's a cool feature. And I just have to say... Uh, can you imagine Ruby and Sapphire remakes in this quality? It would look freaking awesome. I mean, I cannot wait till they remake that game. I mean, imagine this uh, graphics in Ruby and Sapphire, and when they get Gerardin and Kyogre, the final battles, how good they can make it. it be, graphics would be awesome. But anyway, we can come up here and talk to Vicharin and Bianca. We'll see a lot of these people. 
some of the old games they see them every so often you see these people like pretty much everywhere out so get used to them so yeah, she's gonna introduce herself even though we've already met her at the start but I guess that probably didn't count I guess but yeah her name is Professor Juniper and yeah she'll talk about some crap Yes, we have had a Pokemon battle. My room was destroyed. Thank you very much. And yeah, we gotta give a nickname to Snivy. Now, I don't know what I'm gonna call it. Actually, I just thought of something. Um, it's not really that good of a name, but it will do. Uh, I got a boy, so this should work. His name will be... Sammy. We're gonna call Snivy Sammy. So, Sammy the Snivy. It's a good name. Question mark. Pokéx? What the hell is that? Let me explain everything from the beginning for everyone's sake. The Pokédex is a high-tech device that automatically records the Pokémon you encounter. So, I want you three to visit many places meet all the Pokémon in the Unova region. This is my request. Zero, Chiro, and Bianca. You'll go on an adventure to complete the Pokedex, will you not? Yes, I will. So, yeah, that's what she wants us to do, but we all know that the only reason we're doing this is to become the Pokemon Champion and just be the best in the world. But anyway, we get the Pokedex right there. And, uh, yeah, it looks very much like uh, a Digivice in this game. I'm pretty sure they just look at, looked at this new Digivice or Digimon, um, what is it, Delta Squad, I think? But yeah, it looks very similar to that one. I think it's Delta Squad, it might be something else. But anyways, it's Pokemon, not Digimon, so whatever. And as soon as we leave, the mother will, like, pop up. And yeah, there's so much talking going on in this game. So much talking. And we get the town map. Getting items everywhere. But yeah, the town map is very good. And I just want to talk about, um, remember the first time I played this game? Nothing beats the feeling when you play a new Pokemon game for the first time. I mean, it's just such a joy, in my opinion. I mean, I'll just chill, lie on my bed, play this game, it's just good stuff. And the second time you play it, it's like, I mean, you know what's going on, so it's not as a, as a joy to play. But I always love playing Pokemon games for the first time. It's always good. Unless it's like a remake, then I know what's going on, so then it's not as good. But that's why I was excited about the fifth generation. It's brand new, and everything was uh, new to me. So, yeah, it's pretty sweet. But anyway, we can move on. And what was the point of you going ahead of me? It was like five steps away, like what the hell? Yes, we take our first steps at the same time, like a happy family. Okay, here we go. One, two. Route one. I wonder what will happen. Isn't it so exciting? It sure is. Come on, the professor's waiting. Now, I'm actually going to stop the video right here. I'm sorry for it, but next episode we will literally continue straight off where I left. It's a weird place to end the video, but um... Yeah, so next time we'll see what the professor wants.